In this video, I want to break down what seems to be the most effective acne topical product ever made. For those who are new to the channel, I'm Dr. John Barbieri, a board certified dermatologist and acne expert. We just had the introduction of a topical medication that combines clindamycin, adapalene, and benzoyl peroxide. These are three of our foundational top topical acne treatment categories, topical antibiotics that kill acne bacteria, topical benzoyl peroxide that can help further that and prevent antibiotic resistance, as well as help open up some of these pores, and then topical retinoids, which can help reduce inflammation, open up pores, and help skin to mature more properly so we don't get those clogged pores in the first place. So this medication combines these three foundational strategies into a single product. And what we see in the clinical trial is one of the most amazing results I've ever actually seen in a phase three acne study. If we look at those who get this triple combination fixed product versus those who get vehicle, just the gel that it was in, 50% of people who get this triple combination product have clear, almost clear skin after 12 weeks compared to only about 10 to 20% who are getting that vehicle product. And this, just to put into context, is a very hard outcome to hit in acne clinical trials. Usually these rates are about 20 or 30%. To see 50% of people getting clear, almost clear skin with a single treatment is pretty impressive. In addition, people had about a 75 to 80% improvement in inflammatory papules and pustules, those bigger kind of acne bumps and pus bumps. And people had about a 75% improvement in comedonal lesions, whiteheads and blackheads. Again, very impressive results to see in an acne clinical trial. Now, what about side effects? Again, if we look at these phase three clinical trials, about 10 to 15% of people had some application site pain or discomfort about one to 5% of people had some redness, dryness, or irritation, and only 3% of people who are in this clinical trial discontinue the medication due to side effects. And this is quite similar to other acne clinical trials. When we look at combination products like adapalene benzoyl peroxide or trenone benzoyl peroxide, we see very similar rates of side effects and discontinuation due to side effects, about 3%. So from a tolerability standpoint, this seems to be on par with other similar acne products, but incredibly effective. So here we're getting something that does have some issues as we might expect when you combine a topical retinoid and benzoyl peroxide with tolerability, but is incredibly powerful at getting rid of acne. Now, another way to look at this is using a technique called network meta-analysis. This is where, let's say we wanted to know, how does this new product compare with something like adapalene benzoyl peroxide, but we don't actually have a head-to-head -head study? Well, we can look at the adapalene benzoyl peroxide studies and how they compare with vehicle, we can look at this triple combination fixed product, how it compares with vehicle, and then try to use some statistical techniques to figure out what would happen if we compared that adapalene benzoyl peroxide versus this new triple dose fixed combination product. And when we do this network meta-analysis exercise, we again, we see that this triple fixed dose combination product works incredibly well. It works better than topical retinoids, topical antibiotics, other combination products. It's the most effective product that they looked at in this study. And from a tolerability standpoint, it does pretty well too. It seems to be on par with other topical retinoids when it comes to tolerability. It looks better than some of our more irritating things like tazeratine. So it, it seems to be relatively well tolerated and again, incredibly effective at treating acne. Now, the thing we haven't even touched on yet is convenience. Often acne regimens can get pretty complicated with multiple steps. And what we actually know when we look at head-to-head -head studies of simpler regimens versus more complex regimens the simpler regimens do better. People are more adherent and they actually have better outcomes. Their skin gets clearer than using the same things as part of a multi-step regimen. So of course, this product by combining three things into one is gonna offer vastly improved convenience compared to having to do them separately. And that's likely gonna result in improved outcomes as well. Now this product's not right for everyone. As I mentioned, it does have, like any topical retinoid and benzoyl peroxide product, it can cause irritation, especially for those with more sensitive skin. So for those who have more mild acne and have difficulty tolerating things like topical retinoids and benzoyl peroxide, they might need, not need this high effectiveness. It might not be the right thing for them. It also being a newer product is gonna be more expensive. It's gonna be more difficult to get insurance covered. Now that being said, having one product with a higher copay might actually cost less than having three or four products with lower copays when you combine them together. So from a patient affordability standpoint, this may still be relatively affordable, but that's gonna be an issue and again. This isn't something that's going to be right for everyone. For those who have milder acne and might not need something that has this much effectiveness, or for those who convenience isn't as big of a factor in terms of their skincare regimen, you know, again, having something like just adapalene benzoyl peroxide may make more sense for that individual or just using a topical retinoid alone. 
So this isn't right for everyone, but I do think this is a really useful addition to our acne treatment armamentarium. It's incredibly effective. It appears to be well tolerated. It's also an, an optimized vehicle to help try and reduce irritation. So I think this is for the right person gonna be a very useful addition to our acne treatment approach. And I'm really looking forward to using it for my patients. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like and consider subscribing to the channel. Ask me your questions about acne in the comments below. Until next time, see ya.